Okay, so now we will leave for a while uh, the UK to, to go uh, to the south of Europe for uh, Portugal, in a way, and I will invite uh, Fernando Maran to, to come. Hi, Fernando. Have a seat. Okay, so we could speak French because you, you, you speak French fluently. Je peux essayer de parler français. Mais nous allons le faire en anglais parce que nous faisons tout en anglais. Sometimes you can. Yeah, sometimes you can speak in French. Si tu veux dire quelque chose en français, tu peux le dire. And, and mainly we will do in a, <laughs> in English. So, uh, Fernando, you were born in uh, uh, 1973, and you live in Lisbon. Mm -hmm. uh, you you have taken part in several solo and group exhibitions, including the Biennale de Fotografia de, de Villa Franca de Xira. Chira. 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 And the Biennale International de Arte de uh, Cerveira in Portugal. Modulo, uh, Lisbon Gallery has represented you since April uh, 2019. Uh, you had a solo exhibition there uh, last September. Mm -hmm. Your uh, paradoxical images stem from the assumption that there is no such thing as abstract photography because every photo has its... Um, counterpart uh, in the physical world. Your theory, The Question Concerning the Thing, is based on several theories of images produced during experimental research in photographic representation and its challenges. Can you tell us about that, please, Fernando? Well, um, the thing, first of all, thank you for coming. Hello. Um, I really like images, um, and I like to have a direct relation with images, just as images. Before, all image has more than one layer, as we know. Uh, but the first layer is the superficiality of the image. There is or there is not a connection between our eyes and something we are seeing. A connection that can be emotional, can disturb us, can uh, make us feel something that not always we know what it is. That's why in this project, uh, the question concerning the thing, or in French, la question concerning la, la chose, um, the idea is first try to people to look at things without expecting a narrative or a story or something that is behind the image. Of course, afterwards, people are free to try to explain, to understand, to um, try to locate the images on the, what has been done before. I've been told, for instance, that I have some connection with beginnings of photography. Um, but because the work is all made photographing objects and things, very fragile things that I built, uh, that I put on movement, uh, and, the, and that in reality they exist in the world, I use this hypothesis that there is no such thing as an abstract photograph. Actually, I would love people to have other opinions. The, the best part, I think, is the disagreement, the discussion, as the best part, uh, I think, is, is the question. Hence the name that I, I must say, this is the name of a book for Martin Heidegger. It's not, it's not my phrase, it's too good to be mine. But I think the questions tend to be more important than the answers. So not always I think it's important to look at an image and identify it immediately. I'm sure, I think I don't answer your question. <laughs> I don't remember what it is. Uh, <laughs> this is perfect. But uh, when do you think or do you know uh, an image is complete for you? That's impossible to, it's, it's, a, it's an aesthetic thing, a thing that uh, it's... Because this is not a story you tell, as no, you say. No, no. Okay, so At when all. do you know the movement or the technical effect or created by the light or by the composition is There is must there. be something, some equilibrium, some balance, some unbalance, because it's necessary for every image to have something wrong in it. It's really, really important. Um, because if, if, it, if it's the expected image, he has no content. The content disappears. 
uh, when the image is ex exactly uh, as expected, is exactly what we, we are used to see again and again and again and again. We, we live in a world filled with images and always the same images, always the same thing. Um, I'm sure I will not be able to build new images because we we regurgitate the things we see. It's not, it, there is no new anymore. But at least I try to make things that um, I haven't seen before. And in a way, these images have to be created. They are not available in the world to find. So I amuse myself creating the devices, the, the engines, the, all the stuff that is involved. When I choose its final, I, I can't answer that. It's by looking, there isn't a... Maybe you can, you can tell a little, bit, a little bit about the way you are making your image, because there is a, uh, some are really black and white with a very nice sun shaped light, and, and some of them are, uh, are as a red, mm -hmm. a red light, or a red, uh, you know, a veil, you know, very present. Can you tell about that? I, I think... Um, there must be some simplicity in the images for not to be too much information. Uh, it's important to select exactly what is the vibrating point, the thing that will connect to the viewer, if it connects. Uh, and color, most of the times when it gets in the images, uh, starts to be the most important part of the images. So when I have color, I have really strong colors because that's the protagonist. Uh, when I don't, it's because if I let color in, it will be too confusing. Um, anyway, the colors I normally use are not, um, some of them are like, uh, like handmade post-production because I have tainted uh, images with watercolors. Uh, I have some of the images have lines drawn by me after the photograph was taken. So the, the process is like, I, I, I need to amuse myself doing the things. So there is, there is not that much post-production in your work? So, uh, manual post-production. Only, only manual, uh, but yes. not digital post-production. There must be some, with, sometimes with contrast or the, those kind of things. Yeah, it's necessary. Not, not in the composition of the image? No, no, no not no, at okay. all. It's only one shot, normally a long exposure. Mm -hmm. um, with all the setup done, uh, um, okay. things on movement, everything is always moving, moving in the images. And we feel also in your images, through your images, a, a kind of link with uh, uh, poetry or philosophy or thinking or, you know, do you think, I mean, are you a reader? Yes, I am a reader. Uh, I like very much to read. I don't want to offend anyone, but I prefer the books with letters than the books with <laughs> images. Well, I like uh, both. It's, it's less expensive <laughs> to produce, so it's, it's good. I like both, but I tend to spend more time with the ones with letters. Uh, and what I'm finding out is when I start a project and at the same time uh, have other interests in reading, there is a contamination between the things. It's not uh, random that the title comes from a Heidegger and that some of the titles of the photos are also sentences that I quote from my dagger. And as, while I was working, I was thinking on the book, and I think there is, in reality, some contamination between both things, even being completely different things. One is a, a philosophy essay about how to make questions about things and how do we look at things what they might be or might be not. It's like dissecting a frog, but with things. Other, it's a visual uh, essay that I want to be aesthetic, emotional, something to please the eyes or not. Uh, I think both things are good, even not to please the eyes. Okay, donc uh, uh, I would like to. J'aimerais terminer en, en français avec une dernière question en français parce qu'on va pouvoir. We can appreciate your really good French, ah. and this is uh, the, uh, the question. La, la question à propos de ton expérience ici à Paris Photo sur le, le programme Carte Blanche. Quel est ton ressenti? C'est très animé. Euh, je, je connais déjà Paris Photo parce que j'ai venu l'année dernière ici. Euh, comme visiteur pour voir la, la foire. Euh, 
je pense que c'est exactement ce que je pensais en avant. Euh, beaucoup de gens euh, curieux, euh, sympathiques aussi, parce qu'il y a des gens qui que apprécient le travail, et ça, c'est bon. Um, can I change to English again? <laughs> And I think, I think uh, um, the story will not stop in Paris Photo. I think it will, something will happen afterwards. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Thank Merci. you very much, Fernando. Yeah. Uh, is there any question to, for Fernando? No? No, okay. no question at all. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. <laughs>